face. Yeah, because it's zoomed in. You have to squat. What is up, everyone? Except you, Jerry. I don't like you. I'm kidding. Um, okay, so I hope everyone had a good Christmas. As you can see, I'm going to talk about my little Christmas present. And that, of course, is color gels. I got color gels for Christmas. Now, you may be wondering what color gels are. You see, color gels are these little sheets. I guess they all come differently. You know, they're different. And you use these to put on to your flash or to your continuous light, and they will give you a different color. On this side, I have a red one, so without it, it's just nothing. And on my left side, I have a blue with a green, which makes a little cyan color or something, a little teal color to give this beautiful look. Now, of course, you can strap these onto your flash. Um, in some of the pictures that I'm gonna show later, I strap on a I strap on, strap on, cool. Okay, <laughs> I put on a blue and green on to my, my Godox 8200 with my little Westcott thing, which is right behind me, as you can see. I think the color gel is still in there. And on my continuous light, I use it to just put a red color to add some really dynamic colors into it, like a Spider-Man type of feeling which I might do a photo shoot like that one day. So stick tuned and I'll probably make a behind the scenes of that. So also, you know, when I talk about the color gels I got to show you how pricey they were, if they were pricey. So let's get to that. And you know, the color gels I got were some on Amazon that were about $15. So, you know, these are pretty good color gels for the price they come at. And, you know, as you can see from the color gel quality, you know, it they're, just, they're amazing. They're amazing and cool. And you should probably get them, you know, to get started on this cool color gel thing. And here are some that I got, you know, the ones I got were like seven colors and it came with two of each, which is pink. And then there's yellow, red, blue, and others. <laughs> but I will link it in the description so you guys can check it out. Now, let me talk about how I included it in my little photography session. So let's get into that. So for my photography, I ended up using again, the little teal color with the blue and the green mixed together and a reddish color. Right now we have this, you know, orange color for mixing in the red, the yellows and all the oranges, which are very light. That's my only complaint from this package. You know, the oranges are very light and so are the pinks because there's also a pink in there. I see a pink in there too. And, you know, but yeah, the red was very overpowering in the pictures because, you know, this red is just very crimson. Like, you know, this red will take over immediately. And, you know, the blue and the green managed to get in a little bit in there, just a bit, but not very overpowering like the red, unless you made the image very cold post editing, you know, slide that blue kind of all the way but yeah would I recommend that you try out color gels absolutely these things can change to the game of your photography by a lot and even your videos because like look at this lighting look how beautiful it is you know it's amazing and yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys had a great Christmas with your families great Hanukkah Kwanzaa whatever you do dude unless you know you cut Buddy bodies up or something, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know, you know, don't do that. Don't do that. Sh sh shut up, shut up. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll catch you on the next video, which might be about how to pose people or something along those lines, you know, just stay tuned and, you know, put, turn that little no notification bell on, you know, like the video, comment what you think, 
and I'll check out your comment, you know? Follow my Instagram, too, while you're at it, you know? And use the hashtag DaringShots to, sh you know, you can check, I can check out your stuff. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.